Assalamu alaikum. Today we will talk about um, the nerve as a whole. Previous time we talked about the nerve cell. Today we will talk about the nerve itself. So the nerve consists of a group of nerve bundles and each nerve bundle consists of a group of neurons. So let's begin with the neurons. We talked about the neurons in the previous time. So neurons group together in order to form a nerve bundle. So inside the nerve bundle there is some kind of connective tissue um, between the neurons that has the ability to uh, multiply or divide. We said previously that neurons doesn't have the ability of division because their nuclei are devoid of centrioles. But these uh, kind of cells between the neurons have the ability to multiply. These cells are called neuroglia. Neuroglia or glial cells. So, neuroglia or glial cells has some functions. First, it acts as a connective tissue between the neurons. Second, it acts as an insulator between the neurons so that uh, each neuron can be independent in uh, the message of transporting the nerve impulses. Third, they uh, act as a nutritive tissue so that they provide the neurons with um, essential food substances and finally they have an important role in um, repairing the damaged tissues of the neurons. So this forms a nerve bundle and a group of nerve bundles form a nerve. So, I will draw this for you. So as we can see here, this is the nerve. And this is a section in the nerve. And here we have three nerve bundles. One, two, and three. So each nerve bundle is coated with a connective tissue. And the nerve bundle, uh, and the nerve bundles here are all coated with one connective tissue in order to form the nerve. This tissue is called the epineurium. Now, the nerve also can contain blood vessels like veins and arteries. So as we can see here, each nerve bundle contains a group of neurons. So this is the myelin sheath. And this is the axon. So um, the neurons here are connected together with neuroglia or glial cells as we have just mentioned. So this is it for today and the next time we will talk about the nerve impulse itself. What's the nerve impulse and how does it travel through the action of one neuron to another. And until then I thank you for watching and see you.